Hello everyone, and welcome again. In this video, I explain to you how to create a GPO that renames built-in administrator account on the client machines joined to the domain. As I previously explained to you how to enable the built-in administrator account, you can create a policy through the group policy, to change the name of the built-in administrator account, on each client computer at once. Renaming the built-in administrator account will reduce the chance of attacks occurring, which enhances security in the private active directory network. With your group policy makes it easy to rename the administrator account, on all computers in your OD domain. Ok, I'll start quickly. The first thing to do is to create a GPO, open the server manager dashboard, then click on the tools menu at the top of the page. And from the menu click group policy management. After that, right click on organizational unit to which you want to apply the policy, and from menu click on create a GPO in this domain and link it here, to create the policy and apply it directly to this organizational unit. Then in the new GPO window, enter an appropriate name for this policy, so that it is easy to access later, then click on the OK button. Then right click on the GPO that was just created. And from the menu, click at it. This will open the group policy management editor window. After that, expand the folders on the left side, to open the path shown in front of you on the screen and I will leave you this path in the video description. After reaching the path, go to the other side of the available policies, and find the accounts rename administrator account policy, and double click on it to open it. Then check the option to find this policy setting, and enter the name of the new local administrator. Make sure that the administrator name does not include any symbols, or special characters. Renaming the known administrator account makes it a little more difficult for unauthorized people, to guess the username combination. Finally, click on the apply button and OK, and you can close group policy management editor window. An important note, when creating this policy, do not edit the default domain policy so that this policy is not applied to the server as well. Rather, create a new GPO and edit it as I did now, thus ensuring that the server's local administrator account will not change its name. You can close all open windows, and then go to open the client computer, so that we can try the new policy on it. Open the computer management tool to access the computer's local accounts. Then click on local users and groups from the left sidebar, then click on the users folder. Indeed, you will find that the name of the built-in administrator account has been changed. If that does not work for you, update the group policy via the update command. I did not do that because I did a reset on the computer, and thus the group policy was updated. It is necessary to change the name of the built-in admin account, as it helps reduce security risks, and also helps prevent speculative attacks. I hope the video is useful to you. And I thank you for watching. And I also hope you subscribe to my channel. Thank you all.